Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and today we're gonna cover a pretty simple topic that I've had a few questions about recently, and that is DHCP reservations, also known as DHCP static mapping. So what am I talking about? So essentially, DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Control Protocol. That is a service that runs on your network that automatically assigns out IP addresses to the devices that connect to the network. So for instance, if you have a phone that connects to a Wi-Fi network, it connects and it says, hey, I'm here, and the Wi-Fi network says, okay, here you go, here is an IP address. Well, the service that hands out those IP addresses is called DHCP. Now, when you set up DHCP in any particular LAN, typically we are assigning a DHCP pool. And the DHCP pool is essentially a whole bunch of addresses that we're designating as available to hand out to devices. So for instance, if your network is 192.168.1.1 through 192.168.1.254, or kind of what's considered a standard class C or slash 24 subnet, oftentimes dot one is going to be your gateway. So that's the IP address of the VLAN or the router that is sort of at the head of that network and all traffic funnels through out to the other networks or out to the internet. Then you might have a static range. So a range that is basically set aside for you to manually hand out IP addresses to devices that might need them. So if you have a network switch or um, you know, just any, any sort of server that you wanna make sure like this IP address never changes, you wanna basically hand out a static IP address that is outside of a separate set of IP addresses that you're reserving to automatically hand out to devices via DHCP. That is your DHCP pool. So you might have 192.168.1.1 is your gateway, and then 192.168.1.2 through 1.50 is your static IP range, and then you tell DHCP, okay, you are welcome to hand out any IP addresses, 192.168.1.51 through 254, right? So that would be your DHCP pool. So now we've talked about the gateway address, the static IP address range, and the DHCP pool range, right? And so that makes up the entire network, which is a class C or slash 24 network in our example. But what if you have a device that connects in, it gets an, an IP address automatically from DHCP, and you want it to keep that IP address forever. So for instance, if my phone connects in, I might connect my phone to the network, it gets 192.168.1.51, and then I turn my phone off for a week and I plug it back into the network or I connect it back up to the network and it gets a different address in that same range and dot .51 maybe was handed out to some other device. So if you want to avoid that, and here's some recent examples that I've had in my own network, uh, Octoprint, right? So I set up a Raspberry Pi server that manages my 3D printer. And then I also recently got a, a Lutron set up, right? And Lutron has like a hub that connects in and all your Lutron devices connect into that hub. So that hub, I also gave a static reservation. I plugged it into the network, it received an IP address, but I don't want that IP address to ever change because you know the app that connects to it needs to connect to that same IP address every time. So I set it as a static reservation or a DHCP reservation. Okay, so. Now we know what we're talking about. I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. The first way we're gonna show you is within Unify, and the second way that we're gonna show you is within Edge OS, or if you have an Edge router. So here we are at the dashboard of Unify. This is Unify version, uh, or UDM Pro, and it's running version 1.12.15, which is the current version as of the recording of this video in April 2022. So the first thing I wanna do is come over to my client devices, and we can see that I've got a couple of devices that are connected to this test network, uh, including right here, this is my iPhone, right? So we're gonna click on my iPhone, and then we're gonna click on settings, and then right here, we can say used fixed IP address. So we can see right now the IP address that this device received was 192.168.1.233. So let's say I just wanna keep that same IP address every single time this phone connects into this network. We're gonna turn on used fixed IP address. Then we wanna select the network that we always want this device connected to. In this case, we're just gonna leave it on the default network. 
and then we can actually set the IP address or just take the IP address that was already given to the phone by DHCP and we click apply changes. So just that simple in Unify, we're saying this device received 192.168.1.233. I always want it to have that same address. I don't want DHCP giving that address out to any other client. So we have used that fixed IP address setting and now we are set up with our DHCP reservation or static mapping in Unify. All right, now let's take a look at how we do the same thing in Edge OS. So from the dashboard of Edge OS, you wanna click on the services tab, and then you wanna make sure that you are on the DHCP server tab, which is the default, right? And by the way, I'm running Edge Router 4. This is version 2.0.9 hotfix 2. And so let's go over to my IoT network. Uh, this is where I do, you know, more often we'll do static mappings because you have things like Lutron or Octoprint or Home Assistant or anything like that that you might want to have an IP address that never changes. So I'm going to say View Leases. And we can see all of the leases that have been handed out to various devices. Now, right here, we have one called Raspberry Pi. This is some Raspberry Pi server that I have set up and doing something in my network. I'm not even exactly sure which one this is, but it was given an IP address of 192.168.107.12. Now, if I turn that Raspberry Pi off and then it's off for a while, another device might get that IP address. When I turn the Raspberry Pi back on, it might get a different IP address, right? So for something like uh, my previous example of Octoprint, which is a server that my computer connects to to upload files in order to print them on the 3D printer, I don't ever want that IP address to change. So let's say this was an Octoprint server. I can say map static IP. And then this basically says, okay, the MAC address, which is the hardware identification of this device on the network, is going to be mapped to this IP address. We can give it a friendly name if we like, and then all we have to do is click Save. And now if we want to look at the static mappings, we can click on the static Mac slash IP mapping tab up here at the top. We can see I have three static mappings, and here they are, Lutron, Octopi, and then Raspberry Pi, which I just recently added. And if I wanted to delete a static mapping, I can simply click the drop down box and click delete. All right, so there you have it, really quick and simple, but a super useful tool for managing the devices on your networks. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, if you wanna see more videos that are just simple sort of tutorial, tips and tricks types of things like this video, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any other comments or questions, also put those down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.